Morning everybody, welcome along. It's just gone five o'clock here and uh, it's Wednesday. I'll get the day right today. Must get it right because I confused a lot of people yesterday. I'm sitting here watching ITV Hub, still watching The Chase. Oh yes, I do like that program. And uh, yeah, I had my lovely Emily who come out last night and sought me out. Or not night, day. And uh, Charlotte came to do my caring in the morning. And today, at four past four, Siobhan's got to go to the Macmillan, or Macmillan, I don't know, or Maximilian Face uh, place to do with her teeth at half past four. Uh, Eric and Suzanne will be popping over, or one of them, just to keep an eye on me while I am. Um, I'm looked after. It's uh, it's gonna be a boring day. And so for the last half an hour, I mean, well, say hour and a half. I mean, waking up, laying down, waking up, laying down. It's not right. There's something wrong with me. I don't know quite what. Somebody said it was the oral morph that I was taking, but because it's uh, it's got sugar in, it uh, makes you feel sick. I don't believe that at all. It's meant to be a painkiller. <laughs> we will see. But, um, yeah. Uh, what is Siobhan doing? Oh, yeah, she uh, got hold of college and she spoke to them. And she's applied for a new course. We're just waiting to see if she's been accepted in September. Uh, social care. Hmm. Be multi-qualified very soon. Be good, wouldn't it? Uh, just looking at physio, child physio, because apparently she's been speaking to one of the physios, and all they do is play games with the people, the kids. And I said, well, even you can do that without mucking it up. So uh, should be good. And uh, oh, I had for my dinner last night a lovely uh, regular cod and chips. But I had a wally. Do you know what a Wally is? Do you? It made all the difference to what I was eating. It's a massive pickled cucumber. Oh, mate. The amount of vinegar that was in there. If you're a vinegar-holic like me and my mama, you, uh, you'll understand. Very nice. Yeah, we had that. And then, as normal, I was in bed by 7 o'clock. I was listening to the Rolling Stones live in concert on V2 Radio because Tuesday's then live music night. Just let me get up a bit. And, uh, yeah, that was that. Well, she's got weird colour here. Yeah. Very nice. Tracy's just gone up to the loo. She will be back down, I promise. She will. Every time I get up, she has to go to the loo. She's not diabetic. We're testing Siobhan for diabetes because she's weeing a lot, drinking a lot, and sleeping a lot. Yeah. Some of the telltale signs that you must look out for. Because, uh, as we all know, diabetes is a silent, silent killer. Look at some of the people I've known in the past who don't, who don't take it seriously. Uh, more for them. When they get to my age, I won't be around to say, oh, I wish I'd listened to Gary. But still, never mind. I'll help who wants help. And, uh, yeah, well, as you can see, I'm in a better mood today. Got to say hello to mum, to my Richard, my Richard, my brother, Lucy, James. You all right? I haven't heard from you, you look for ages. How are you, Emily? I bet you're enjoying the summer holidays, aren't you? Are those chickens enjoying being outside, out in the sun? I'm sure they are. I'd like to be a, a, a chicken who could get out. That would be nice. Yeah, just scratch around, picking up bits and pieces, eating it. How nice. <laughs> but there you go, anyway. Right, well, that's today. Oh, here she comes. She might say hello quickly. Oh, she's just coming. Very quickly, come and say hello. Morning. There you go. All right, she'll speak to you tomorrow. So will I. Love you lots. Ta-ra.